there was this story that broke out from Martha. I think it was um, published by the BBC. There are a lot of migrants in Libya who are trying to cross to Europe. Some of them do succeed to cross, but most of them end up in the Atlantic Ocean, which is really, really sad to see someone lost his or her life in such a way. I have always said it. I know Africa is tough. I know our country, our continent is really tough. But people must weigh, people must understand that nothing is worth your life. You trying to cross over or in the name of making it bigly is not worth your life. A lot of people get drowned in that ocean. So if you are ever thinking of taking the Trans-Sahara Road to Libya or to Morocco and then by some means manage to cross over to Europe, please reconsider your decision all over again. We consider a lot of people are dying. And let's say, for example, you are one of the lucky ones who managed to cross over. When you get there, you will be placed under asylum and it will take a while for them to process your file. Some people spend years without even having their case called up. So you should be very careful. And right now, Britain has passed a new law. All the migrants will be sent back to Rwanda. And from Rwanda, they will process their asylum. My brothers and sisters, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Look for other ways to travel abroad. Look for more safer way to travel abroad. The Atlantic Ocean is not a good way. I would never recommend it to anybody. Not to anyone I know. Not to anyone I care and love. People drown in that ocean all the time. So, let's continue with this article from the BBC. The headline says, Martha refuses European demand to accept African migrants that a small country called Malta refuses to accept migrants from Africa uh, that was proposed by the European. The Maltese government has refused to allow a tanker which rescued 102 African migrants to dock in Malta. It was earlier told by the European Commission that it had a duty to admit the passenger on humanitarian grounds. The Commission said the EU state had a humanitarian duty to take in the migrants who were safe from a boat off the Libyan coast. Among those aboard the tanker are an injured woman, four pregnant women, and a five-month-old baby. Oh my God! But Martha says it told the captain of the tanker, the MV Salamist, it did not have permission to enter its territorial waters and insist its decision to deny entry is in keeping with international law. Minister for Home Affairs was quoted as saying by the Times of Malta, there is no doubt that Malta is legally correct. We have documented evidence from the Maritime Rescue Coordination Center of Rome. Maltese never medics visited the tanker on Tuesday to check the state of health of the migrants and distribute food and water. And the government has now concluded that no evacuation are necessary. The tiny island state receives thousands of illegal migrants heading to Europe each year. Hours before the latest incident, 111 mainly African migrants arrived in a rubber on the southern east coast. So my brothers and sisters, you can hear what this story is all about. The Maltese 
government has rejected European Union demand to allow migrants into their territory. They said that they will not welcome these African migrants because they have received so many of them and do not know where to put them or when to send them. And the issue of migration in Africa is really getting out of hand. It's getting really, really out of hand. And I think that we all as Africans or we all as people of the world must come up with a lasting solution to this problem. And I know for a fact that most of them are economic migrants, which means that they are traveling for greener pasture. They are looking for a way out of their sufferings in Africa. And they are willing to risk their life to do whatever it takes just to get to the other side. Traveling is good. When you travel, you get a lot of experience. There are a lot of things you can learn when you travel. But putting your life in so much danger just so you can travel, to me, it's not worth it. That is something I have always discouraged because a lot of people, I mean a lot of people, lost their lives in the process. Do not gamble with your life. Your life is precious. You must learn to value it. Do not take your life for granted. So let's continue with the article. The European Commission had argued that since the ship was not closest to Malta, the island must allow the migrants to disembark as soon as possible. Any dispute over which country should legally take them should be resolved later. It argued the immediate concern was to save lives. The minister of the Salamis is credited with saving the migrants' life. He issued an urgent medical request saying one injured woman needed to be taken immediately to hospital. But the Matis medics who visited the tanker on Tuesday found otherwise. The Liberian flag Salamis had been en route from the Libyan port of Qum, bound for Mata, and was reportedly 24 nautical miles off Mata's coast on Tuesday. Mata's government says a patrol Italian Navy ship ordered the tanker to take the migrants back to Libya when it was within 50 nautical miles of the Libyan coast. So you can see here that, according to this report, the Malta government is saying that the Italian patrol ship saw these migrants and asked the tanker to take them back to Libya. The shipmaster ignored guidance from ROCC, Maritime Rescue Coordination Center, because of commercial interest. This is a matter of principle for us because if we allow this to take place, it will create a dangerous precedent for us. There is no emergency. These people were rescued. They are in good state and they were waving at the AMF, Matisse Armed Force, helicopter as it descended. Mr. Miller said he has spoken to the European Commissioner for Home Affairs, Cecilia, who had not been aware of the entire picture. On Sunday, the Italian Navy rescued a group of at least 90 migrants trying to reach Europe from North Africa by boat and brought them to the island of Lampedusa. Last month, Matisse Prime Minister told EU Council President that the burden of immigration to the EU should not fall on its smallest member. While Martha will do its compassionate duty, he added, it will not leave its doors open wide and welcome boats from Libya or elsewhere as if nothing happened. Call us harsh, call us heartless, but we are not pushed over, the Maltese Prime Minister said. So you can see how controversial all this has become. Europeans said Malta should take in the migrants, and Malta is now saying that they cannot because they are the smallest nation in Europe, and they cannot 
carry all the burden of the migrants. And they also mentioned that actually the Italian Navy saw this tanker and requested the tanker operators to take the migrants back to Libya. But the tanker operators instead bring the people closer to Malta. So Malta would not welcome the migrants. <laughs> you can see how complicated it is, right? So my brothers and sisters, this is the world we found ourselves, where things are too complicated. My only concern is the well-being of the people on the tanker. I hope they can safely get to wherever they are going. If being deported back to Libya, they can safely go back. But I wouldn't advise anyone to take that route. There are two pregnant women on the tanker and a five months old baby. How can a mother be embarking on such a dangerous path with a five month baby? It's so, so difficult, my brothers and sisters. But you guys out there, what do you think about the Trans-Sahara Road and the Atlantic crossover to Europe? Do you think that it's really worth it? Like people should really endanger themselves just so they can get to Europe? Please share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comment section below. We would love to hear what you have to say. And also, if you came across any article or any story like this one and you thought it's worth sharing with the rest of the world, please send it to us through any of our social media platforms. You can find them on this channel description section. Support the show with a dollar or more through the crowdfunding website Patreon or directly to us through our PayPal account. We shall appreciate any little thing that you send to us. Please like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Little deeds of goodwill like this helps the channel a lot, and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much, and until next time that we shall meet again, goodbye. <music>